Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to share with you a feature in Adobe Acrobat that allows you to search for patterns that are already built into the tool. So in this example, I have a document with sample text in it, and I've added in some social security numbers, some email addresses, some uh, credit card numbers, and some dates. So we're going to go to Tools, and then the Protection section, and then we're going to choose this option, Search and Remove Text. It's going to give you a warning message. OK, so we want to search in the current document. You can search across PDFs in a folder if you want. And then we're going to choose Patterns. And then there's some patterns that are already built in. That's what we're going to talk about today. So let's say that we want to search for credit card numbers. So let's move this out a little. So I choose credit cards, and then I say search and remove text. And then it comes back with a list of potential things that identified it identified as credit card numbers. You see some have dashes and some don't. So each individual option is here, and you can click on them to see where they are in the document. And then you can choose which ones you uh, would want to redact. So in this case, this one, this one, and this one. OK, and then down here where it says marked checked results for redaction, let's go ahead and do that. OK, so then I'm going to click on New Search, and I'm going to also choose Social Security Numbers. Click on Search and Remove Text. And again, I get the individual items that I can click on and see where they are in the document and if it makes sense to redact them. So check them all, click on Mark for Redaction. We're also going to do email addresses. So it found these email addresses. They all look right to me. I'm going to click Check All, Mark Checked Results for Redaction. And then lastly, Dates. Now, obviously, you wouldn't want to redact every date in the document, but if there are dates related to personal identifying information, this will um, find all the dates, and you can pick and choose which ones. I also want to show you that in this example, I put a date that's formatted differently, and it still found it. So let's check all these. OK, so once we're done searching, we can close the search box. So now we have our PDF with all of our redactions that are marked. If I mouse over them, you'll see what the redaction will look like. OK, so now we're going to apply the redactions. And it gives you a warning. Click OK. And then it offers to go and find and remove hidden information, which I'm going to say yes to. It tells you which hidden information it found. You can check or uncheck, depending on what you want to do. I'm just going to remove it all. And so in the end, I have a redacted document. And then at this point, I would just save it. So this is a really good tip if you have a large document or a folder full of PDF files that might have personal identifying information. Hope you found this tip helpful and can put it to good use.